Is it better to invest or pay off debt first for retirement? The age-old question, to invest or to obliterate that debt first? Truth be told, it's not a one-size-fits-all scenario. Both options have their merits, and both can potentially lead to a sunny retirement. You know, the kind that has you kicking back with a cold one on the porch, without a financial care in the world. Let's break it down. When we talk about debt, we're usually looking at a spectrum, from the low-interest long-haul student loans and mortgages to the high-interest soul-crushing credit card debt. If your debts carry high interest, it's like you're sprinting on a treadmill. You might be moving, but that debt isn't going anywhere fast. Paying off high-interest debt should usually take priority. It's tough to get a guaranteed return on investment that outpaces what you'd save by paying off that 20% APR on your credit card. On the flip side, if we're talking about a low-interest mortgage or something akin to it, the waters get murkier. Historically, the stock market's average return, hovering around 7-8% after inflation, can outpace many people's mortgage rates. If this is the debt you're wrestling with, investing might be the more attractive option. But here's the kicker. Retirement accounts often offer tax advantages. Traditional IRAs, 401, Ks, and the like reduce your taxable income or defer taxes until you're presumably in a lower tax bracket in retirement. That's like getting a bonus from Uncle Sam just for planning ahead. Now, as a guy living in Portland, Oregon, I also have to consider the local factors, cost of living, state taxes, and yes, even that incessant drizzle that makes you ponder life's bigger questions. These details can tip the scales one way or the other. Let's not forget about the psychological warfare debt wages on your mind. There's something cathartic about paying off a debt. It's a guaranteed return in the form of peace of mind, which some folks would argue is priceless. So, the strategy? If your debt is giving you night sweats, tackle the high interest rates first. Then, when you're in the clear, start playing the long game by socking money away in your retirement accounts. And if those debts are more akin to a no-rush, low-interest stroll in the park, you might start feeling the pull of the investment tide. At the end of the day, every extra penny you've got after paying off high-interest debt should probably be split between some moderate debt paydown and investing. It's about balance, not extremes. One thing I'll bet my last dollar on is that decisions made in fear or ignorance are ones you'll likely regret. Do your homework, crunch the numbers, and maybe, just maybe, consult with a financial advisor who's been down this road a thousand times before. There it is, my two cents, which, if invested wisely, might just grow into a comfortable retirement nest egg. Or at the very least, enough for a celebratory round of craft beers on one of Portland's many fine patios.